Whoa. Word around the campfire is Tiny left T.I. and not the other way around. Now, I don't want to go into a history of problems and TMZ this thing out, but it's a lot of people that's friends with us that's friends with Tiny. And none of them like Tip. I'm the only one that's like in Tip's corner. And then it was like, you don't really know Tip. Okay, he's a manipulative SOB and he tries to control everything. He's really controlling. And he plays off the fact that they have a brand, T.I. and Tiny. And the T.I. and Tiny brand is bigger than the T.I. brand right now by himself. And the, the fact is, he had to reinvent himself by using Tiny. And it was basically her idea saying, look, let's go at, a, at another route because you're trying to get back to where you was before the case. And it hasn't quite been working out. So let's try this new route. And she came up with the idea of the TV reality show thing. And this was basically her bag. And people gravitated to her like the girls and then T.I. was able to see another side of him with the family hustle so now you got T.I. back in the spotlight in a whole different way now you know he's more positive it's about fatherhood and now he's able to get places where before he couldn't get to to close certain type of deals now not airing somebody's dirty laundry out, but allegedly he's been involved in different stuff every year. Involving women, may have other kids out there, and she's been taking it all in because she's all about family. Plus he plays off the fact of her having a low self-esteem. Even though she was in the group escape and doing all this stuff, she had a very low self-esteem and she didn't want to, you know, She the first thing she had didn't work out. She did not want to lose Tip, you know, to one of these, you know, girls. So she always thought she had to step it up, you know, because she don't want to lose Tip. And even though Tip, like, baby, you ain't got to change. Allegedly, you know, all these things were going on behind the scenes and he was getting caught. Allegedly. That's why Shakina don't like him. Latoya don't like him. None of her friends, Sabrina, none of them like her husband. When your friends don't like your husband, they probably know a lot <laughs> about what the husband then did. And somebody who was just down no matter what and putting up with it. You know, so it's a situation where you hope they things work out, but you don't know how they're going to. Now, word around the campfire is that she left. She's staying somewhere else. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with their show or what's going to happen with it or are they still going to do it. But they're keeping it low key, I guess, for their brand. They don't want to completely damage that. But with all this hoopla going on around, you know. Both sides could say it's nothing, you know, we can get back together. And, you know, T.I. want her back in the house, from what I'm hearing, that he want her back. He, ain't want, he don't want her gone at all. But he wants a lot of changes that happen involving her, but he haven't changed. He keeps promising that he was, but, of course, he goes out and do things he says he doesn't do. And, of course, now you got rumors of an escort and model escort and stuff coming out and, you know, it's just rumors so far, but she would know best, more than me. And the friends would know. Because <laughs> I'm quite sure she's disgusted with them. And they pretty disgusted with him. You know, or she had a group, you know, and allegedly T.I. was messing with one of the girls in his own wife's group. And she was starting with the girl group, and then that blew up. You know, it's it's like... When you're trying to make something happen and you got somebody who's more destructive than than helping the situation, 
You know, you gotta kind of like evaluate the pros and cons of what's happening and saying, is this person even really should be in my vicinity? Like, I should should I even be with this person? And I think she's at that point now where she's strong enough to at least leave for a while to try to get some space or you know just a break. You know, because that's the first step for her. You know, she went in. It was rumors about him and the model and the model with the blue eyes. And then next thing you know, she got blue eyes. You know, she went and got the implants and the bud and the breast implants, the Botox and the lips. She's trying to stay with the times to keep up with what's fashionable. But she's more brilliant with her mind than anything else and that's that's the person like i remember you know like who comes up with the ideas and you know as far as business and management and taking care of things that's that's the kind of that's where her value is really and all this other stuff is psychological you know it's Sometimes men they they put that on a woman and or they know their wife have that and then try to enhance it. They only want it enhanced enough to suit them when need be. Instead of wanting to see them confident and to the point where they don't need that stuff, you know. Period. But you know, when you got social media, you're in the social limelight, you know, and you got yourself being criticized all the time on social media and people putting your picture up next to like Miss Piggy and all this stuff it's psychologically damaging especially if you your self esteem isn't always 100% you know I mean she's not alone it's not like saying she's the only person to ever be like that Mariah Carey's like that so as big as a star she is she's you know, got self-esteem issues. So, it, it happens. But we ain't gonna TMZ this thing, man. Like I said, I just told y'all the word around the campfire. Let me go ahead and uh, get caught up on The Flash. I ain't been watching The Flash in a minute. I need to get caught up. Alright, I'm out.